Hey everyone, I wanted to record a quick video just to show how I'm using the trim reset function. Uh, I know there's been a lot of discussion in the forums about whether it's useful or not. Um, I find it useful the way I have it set up. So I thought I'd share and maybe it'll help someone else get their setup as well. Um, for me, I wasn't really interested in micromanaging the trim function uh, in-game and retrimming and untrimming when you're trying to change speed or direction. Uh, now I have to basically micromanage the joystick. So I typically am going to fly with uh, direct control uh, over the bird and only trim when I think I'm going to need to take my hands off the stick to do something uh, in the cockpit or um, if I'm on a long straight cruise, that kind of thing. So let me get myself into straight and level flight here. And trim that up, release the joystick so you can't tell but my joystick is centered and now I have a little micro control capability just like you would normally. I'm using the center trim function for the stick only not for my pedals. Uh, I've got the springs, the spring removed my pedals so I don't need to deal with trim on that. So what I've done is I've mapped a button for the trim reset uh, but using joystick gremlin outside of the game, I've set it up so that when I press and hold my trim reset button, it disables the connectivity between my joystick and DCS essentially. So I can move my joystick around, right now I'm flogging it left and right, up and down, and it doesn't have any impact in game. So I can move my joystick forward to about the position where it was when I set the trim, and then when I release the trim reset button is when it actually sends the command to DCS. So I'm going to release now and there's not an abrupt jump uh, from the stick because I've reset, or reset the trim and the helicopter went back to a neutral state. So for me <clears throat> that seems to work great. Um, let me show you here what I've done. So. Using Joystick Gremlin, um, I'm going to go into a in-depth tutorial here. Uh, there's plenty of other tutorials online that will show you how to deal with Joystick Gremlin. But basically, I've got a default mode, I've got a Joy Axis Direct mode, and a Joy Axis Disabled mode. In the um, Joy Axis Direct mode, I've mapped my X and Y axes to a virtual joystick device X and Y axes nothing fancy here, just a straight map. In the Joy Axis Disabled mode, I don't have those axes mapped to anything. So in DCS, when I go to my controls and go to my uh, axes, my virtual device, virtual joystick, is where I've bound the X and Y axes, not to my actual right uh, cyclic stick. So when joystick gremlin is in axes disabled mode there's no input going into the game. When it's in axes direct mode it's it's sending that to the game and I can fly just like normal. So the key here is on my button number six which is what I'm using to activate my um, trim reset. Uh, I have a temporary mode switch to the Joy Axis Disabled mode. So it's a condition where as long as I'm pressing the button, as long as this button is pressed, it's going to switch into that temporary mode. When I release the button, it switches back out of that mode. So then the other half of that is sending the keyboard command left control T and releasing left control T to basically send the game my trim reset command but there's a condition on that to only activate that when the button is released so this combo lets me press and hold the button move the joystick to where I want it to be and then release the button that resets the trim in the game now my joystick position is back to one-to-one -one relationship and I'm not 
you know, climbing up to the sky or diving down or whatever. So anyway, hope that's all. Hope that helps. Thanks.